Minecraft just released their brand new Tales and Trails update and they added a lot. Some of it really cool and other additions kind of weird. So I wanted to see what it has to offer. I used to be hugely into Minecraft when I was between the ages of like 10 and 12, but then I kind of got bored with the game as the years went by. And aside from playing some short games with my friends over the years, I haven't actually sat down and done a proper single player world playthrough the whole way through for probably a good like 10 years maybe. So that's what I'm here to do today. So the first thing I did was the classic getting a bunch of wood and making a crafting table. I murdered this pig that I found, got some food, and then right away I noticed that I was right by the coast. So I wanted to create a boat and just have a look around because I'm not setting up base in a dark forest. It's just so inconvenient. And look at how gorgeous these shaders and this resource pack is i was just looking along the coast as i was boating in awe i had to obviously stop because i saw this pig on the side of the island so i had to go and murder him uh, for some food for the long journey but anyway aside from the random acts of murder here we are just going through this lovely lovely it's not like, uh, I was thinking of the word lake, but it's not like it's a bay. Look at how beautiful this is with all of the water and the reflections on the water and the beautiful sky. And it's so nice right now, it's about to go so wrong. So I go down this little uh, river that goes into the jungle and what do I spy on my right hand side? Oh ho, it is a nether portal. This is a brand new structure. I haven't really seen this in game before actually. So I go investigate and I know there is a chest somewhere and then my computer is struggling so much with all that I'm putting it through that it just lags and my double tap on my W to sprint and get this jump just completely fails and well, you'll see what happens. My computer was not happy with all of the strain I was putting it under, and that's what happens. That's my karma. So it took me so long to go back here and get my stuff, but luckily it didn't burn in the fire, so I just left the jungle because I was like, this is bad vibes. I continued along the coast. Um, at this point the sun was setting and I was looking for this plains biome that I saw while I was first entering the bay because I thought it would be a good place to build. I finally found it uh, and then I climbed up this little mountain and there was a huge big flat plain and I thought this would be a perfect place to set up a base. Look at how gorgeous the moon and the sky looks. It looks so pretty. And then I built this absolutely atrocious house. It is so ugly because I ran out of oak wood while I was building it. So I had to build it half oak and half birch. Um, and then I did this funky like feature wall, oak feature wall at the back situation. But um, yes, it is quite hideous, but it's just a little shelter, a little shack for the night because I didn't have a bed at this point. Um, and the next thing I did was I started just getting some stone so I could get some better tools and I could get a nice uh, stone sword so that I could venture out into the night and have a little explore. So I made myself a stone pickaxe and a stone sword. Um, and then in the morning I had a skeleton who was hanging outside my house. Uh, so I was just hanging around for a little bit waiting for the sun to come up so that he would burn to death, the classic. Uh, Minecraft strategy is just hide from the mobs until they die of their own accord and look at this beautiful effect with the ray of light coming up in the morning so I went out and I checked on Mr. Skelly and he was dead um, and there's this huge ravine outside of my house so there's lots of mining potential um, but first I noticed another pig I think this is the third pig of the video uh, and so I murdered him he has some cool new animations and speaking of animations the creeper has some cool new animations as well where it's actually like creeping which I think looks really really cool so then we've got what the fourth pig of the video the fifth the fifth pig of the video. I don't know why, I just had it out for pigs today. 
I was just going on an absolute pig rampage and kind of getting used to that new like mechanism of uh, fighting where you have to time the clicks. That pig just there was hiding in the grass, um, making it a little bit difficult for me to kill him. I kept hitting the grass, so, um, you know, I responded to his defiance by murdering his entire family. I don't know how many pigs I've killed at this point, but then I found uh, some copper, which is a new ore in the game, and I have absolutely no clue what it is used for. So I just picked it up, and then I just stared at it with longing confusion and wondering what it was for, and pressing all of the wrong buttons, trying to go into third-person mode in the process, taking a screenshot, because I completely forgot the controls for how you do this. It's been a long time. And then I went down to the uh, the rocks and I did some mining, and I also had a look at this new feature, which is this recipe book that they added, and I was very confused because it told me that I had new recipes and things that I could do with the copper, um, but then when I looked Looked through all the options it didn't show any copper things anywhere um, but I later discovered that it only really works if you're um, at a crafting table and then when I was on the way back I found these two turtles who were having a little smooch but then they got quite offended that I was staring at them and so I decided to back away and give them a little bit of privacy um, and then I went home uh, and I made a bed and I put it here because my house is awful I'm in bed in the morning. I wrote wee into chat because the uh, chat opened and I was trying to move by pressing W um, and E. Um, and then I was going and just collecting some resources and I found this sheep which bleated at me and then led me away and kept turning around and looking at me to like make sure that I was following it. So I was like, the sheep is, it's leading me somewhere. It's like sentient, it's leading me somewhere. Um, but it wasn't, so I just murdered it. <laughs> um, and oh yeah, those trees are on fire. Those trees are on fire because I set them on fire. <laughs> I was just going around, um, I don't know, destroying the place. Um, and then I decided I don't like this place very much actually, so I'm just gonna leave. Um, so I just got in my boat and I took all my stuff and I left. I just didn't really like the place. I was hunting for a new place to live. Uh, the sun was setting. Um, and then I found something very exciting, which is a pirate ship that has sunk which is very cool and for some reason this shader it's very um much it's like lighter under the water and darker at night so even when it's night the water is lighter than outside which looks very weird and i found this um tablet thing which allows you to add trims to your armor but i don't know how it works and then i randomly discovered that torches work underwater which is a little bit stupid um, so i was just underwater with my torch looking for treasure um, which gave me a bit more visibility and then i found something very exciting which you'll see in a moment i don't know what i'm doing i'm just looking around it's not that exciting love come on get on with it there we go buried treasure map isn't that exciting? And we went on a little buried treasure hunt, which was not much of a hunt. It was actually very easy because the map basically just showed me that I was already like right next to the treasure. I just had to go around the corner. It wasn't really much of an epic quest. And the treasure was on this island that was just swarming with zombies, but I didn't get off and fight them. I let them come to me because I don't chase, I attract. Uh, and then I was digging for the treasure and I found it pretty easily. It wasn't that deep down and it was pretty good treasure. I do have to say there was a diamond in there and there was this thing called the heart of the sea, which I have absolutely no clue what uh, it does, but it sounds very important. So here's me doing a little celebratory dance because I got a diamond um, and then this thing happened that I didn't know could happen which is that my boat just sunk and I couldn't get in it it was just completely waterlogged it got dragged down by one of those magma things and then when I was boating away I see in the distance a cherry blossom wow so I just went 
uh, bounding up the hill to the cherry blossom and look at it in all its glory. This is probably why I came back to the game when I saw, you know, the tales and trails and they've added all this archaeology and the sniffler and things like that. But, you know, screw all that. We've got the beautiful cherry blossoms. Um, so then I saw this island um, that I wanted to set up base on. But on the way I saw the llama trader and as usual he was just selling a bunch of tats so i murdered him um but then his llamas became so obsessed with me i swam to this island and they chased me all the way across the ocean to this island and just look at this view i mean it's beautiful they've got the cherry blossoms in the distance it's a whole island to yourself it's reasonably sized it's very big and there's also a village uh i don't think you can see it in this clip oh you can see it you just saw it rewind quick it was off to the right there's a village over there so very nice uh questionably shaped setup there for me you know cooking my beef and sorting out my uh inventory which was just filled with a bunch of random garbage that's minecraft for you and then when i was out getting supplies uh from the cherry blossom biome because i want to build a pink house it got so dark randomly i don't know why it got so dark but it got so dark so quickly i couldn't see a thing i could hear spiders and skeletons and then i fell in a hole and i was just being mobbed by like three mobs i panicked set myself on fire <laughs> and it took me so long to find where I died later I was hunting and I was worried that my stuff was gonna be despawned because I just had absolutely no clue where I'd even died and then I went back to building once I finally got my stuff I built this little pink house entrance then decided I didn't like it so I dismantled it planted a bunch of uh, sakura tree saplings around so that I could get enough pink wood for my desired cute little farmhouse build that I was planning on doing and I got the pink stained clay however I was a bit torn on what to do for the roof because the cherry log is too dark to go with the pink it looks a bit um it looks a bit too harsh um and so I tried a bunch of woods and then I figured out that the best one would be that new crimson wood from the nether so then I went on the most annoying quest ever to go to the nether and just to get this crimson wood you can see when I was mining to try and find lava I fell in this hole and I died look at this creepy spider animation don't really like that one to be honest and then I found this stone that makes like a wet slapping noise when you mine it didn't really like that much, dug into the bowels of the earth, found some lava and got some lava and then, well, you'll see what happens, it's very, very annoying. <laughs> so I went to this huge cave system, explored this gigantic cave system in the valley, got some lava from there as well, but I was just hunting and hunting for ages for lava and then I go to the village and these idiots have just built their farm on top of a giant lava pit and it's burning up and I could have just come here the whole time and got some lava if I'd just come here first instead of potting about for like an hour that I cut out because it was quite boring um, and then I found some bees in the Sakura biome and I made them mate and they made a baby which is very cute it's very tiny look at it very wholesome I would like to build a bee army so that I can fight the wither later in the game um, but we'll see how that goes. I'm just going to keep playing until I have killed the ender dragon and then we'll call it a day but the aim for now is to build this house. So I forgot to mention this earlier actually but when I got the lava I actually found diamonds and because I just saw that clip with the diamond pickaxe and I was like where did that come from? It's because I missed this clip I cut it out but look I found diamonds I think I found like five and they're all shiny in the shader pack which is really nice I love that it makes it feel so special then we went to the nether this is just another tragic story quite frankly like I don't know where everything was going wrong for me in this game so I go to the nether and there's so much that I've cut out but basically I spent like two hours in the nether like farting around building bridges trying to find uh some crimson wood biome right 
and then eventually I came across a wood buyer and I got so excited but it was the blue wood and then this is just so tragic so I'm wandering around in the nether it's been like two pro two plus hours at this point at least and then I look look at me I'm so excited I notice I finally made it to a red crimson wood biome and then this piglin just decides to murder me out of absolutely nowhere just completely unprovoked and to be honest I'm not gonna lie to you guys I was so annoyed that I wasted so much time trying to find it I just popped in creative mode and I just planted a few of the crimson trees in my backyard and they look quite ugly but their wood does not i mean look at this pink and purple in this texture pack it's like the perfect combo and i wanted to build like a barrel house kind of thing so that's what i was going for i wanted to make my house nice and cute and round it's not really the, the usual style that i would build in but i wanted to try something different i'm not the best builder but you know i built this little barrel house um usually i would just build a little like wood house i got a little farm going i guess the style i'd usually go for is rustic so this cute style is not something that i usually do made this whole house look at it bam 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 here i am in creative mode showing you that zombie is kind of ruining the vibe here is the full look do not like this side i liked it from the front did not like it from the back did not like it from the side put a bunch of petals on there to kind of hide the bits I didn't like but I still wasn't satisfied so well I just blew it up didn't I <laughs> just went in creative got a bunch of TNT blew it up it was quite satisfying because I was a little bit frustrated with the house at that point and it worked very well actually it just removed like the house it just removed enough for me to just start again so I started again wanted to make it more of a circle instead of what I was doing before and kind of keep it simple because I thought I just added too much when I added the top floor and the back bit I, I just didn't like it so I thought let's just make it simple let's just make it a barrel house and that's literally it here it is sped up uh if you have epilepsy this might be a problem maybe I should put flash warning on this actually anyway I spent ages with the campfire trying to make um a little uh what's it called a chimney that's what it's called trying to make a chimney that worked and has smoke coming out of it it took me a while but it actually did work in the end and it looks quite effective because there's some blocks that smoke will pass through here we go here is the final showreel you can see the beautiful view bit ruined by those trees i'll have to cut them down we've got the lovely cherry blossoms we've got the lovely farm which i went a bit you know it's not an organized farm went a bit crazy on it i thought it would look nice and natural we've got this little porch bit at the back this bench is unfinished the interior is unfinished but you can sit in the backyard you know shelter from the rain look out at the crops put some pink carpet down to make it feel homely don't have anything to put in those item frames yet but got the lovely pink stained windows beautiful view out of there looks so good I really like the glass texture in this shader pack as well. Looks quite nice. Most of the fun I think is going to happen in the basement. Actually that sounds rather wrong saying that doesn't it? I don't mean it like that. I mean we're going to expand into the basement and that's where the main part of the house is going to be. This other bit's just for show to be honest. You can see the skeleton while I was trying to show it off just broke into my house which is a bit rude and he was kind of just skulking around in my backyard sheltering from the sun and he was a bit you know he had a bit of an attitude to him actually because he was kind of just glaring at me and then he was walking around my house stomping around looking at things with this judgmental look and staring at me like he was judging my interior decorating skills um there he is burning in the background here's the build in a couple different shader packs looks quite different depending on the shader pack but this is the uh finished little house bam bam so that's my goal for episode one is to just get a house going this is base of operations we're gonna go out kill the ender dragon and that's it you guys if you enjoyed this please let me know and i'll make more and thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one